Hi, I'm Pat Rankin, owner of Potomac River Construction. Uh, we're here in uh, Falls Church today, uh, working on a new project that we've just begun. Uh, today's our demolition day. On this particular project, we're going to be uh, gutting the whole interior of the existing house. Uh, and then we are also going to be bumping out of the one side in the front with a uh, master suite addition. Uh, the entire interior of the house is going to be remodeled, all new kitchen, all new baths. So this is a big, fun, exciting project for us and today's start day. So here's the front of the uh, existing structure. Uh, we got a couple things going on exterior. We're going to, uh, we're going to add an addition over here on the side. Uh, that's going to be the master suite. We're also going to move it forward about 12 feet. And then we have a new uh, covered porch going on here that's going to bump out this side and a small addition off to the right. But the real big changes are going to happen on the inside, so let's go in and check it out. When I initially met with uh, my clients here, they had a couple of different ideas in mind uh, that had been proposed to them. What they were ultimately trying to achieve was a master suite, a couple extra bathrooms and bedrooms for, for their children. Um, they were talking about popping the top and going up. One of the reasons I didn't like that idea is because it made the house very compartmentalized, very much up and down, and it really didn't have a lot of flow. By putting the addition, the master suite, on the side, all of the bedrooms are going to end up on one level. The master suite, a guest suite, the children's be bedrooms and bathrooms. And in addition, what we gain is the ability to, to lower this floor to equal this one, and we end up with a, a great space uh, for our kitchen and great room area where modern family spends their time. So the general style, the materials we're going to be using in here is going to be kind of a mix of modern and rustic. We're going to have some nice wood in here with some lines in it, some knots in it, some hickory I think we're going to use. And then we're going to have some granite on the countertop, stainless steel. So it's going to have elements of both a, a rustic nature and, and also of a modern nature. We want to get as much natural light in here as possible. And you'll see when we show you the designs and ultimately when we, when we finish this project, we have like a wall of glass going over here. We have windows over on this side. We're going to have a brand new front foyer addition so that adjoins to a brand new front porch. So, but this is really going to be light filled. It's going to be a really warm place to be, an attractive place to be. So now we're at the rear of the house where the addition is going to be, right here and forward. So what's going to happen is we're going to have a new set of basement doors. They're going to be a big wide French slider. And you're going to have, what we're going to do is minimize the step down. So this is really going to feel like a walkout basement and, and virtually it is. So what we're going to do is move this grade around to create as shallow an area as we can so we only have like two or three steps down to this new uh, entrance to the basement. But we want that to be nice and wide and as shallow as possible so it really lets a lot of light into this basement so it doesn't feel like you're hanging out in a basement because ultimately they're going to have a wet bar, flat screens, and this is where they're going to do a lot of their entertaining. So you want that to be as light filled as possible and to feel nothing like a, a basement at all. We're going to switch out this vinyl siding for a concrete fiberboard slash hardy plank product. It's a, you know, it's concrete board that you put up, looks just like clapboard, never has to be painted, never has to have any rotting issues, anything of that nature. So it's a synthetic product and something that's used very commonly. And it's really going to warm up the front of this house too. It's going to look a lot nicer because on the base we're going to do a stone water table. So about 36 inches up or so all the way around the house is going to be a nice uh, stone look. Uh, and then the hardy plank will go from there to the top. So this is really going to be a lot more attractive on the outside as well. And it's going to tie in, it's really going to help tie in the addition to the existing structure so that it looks like it was the way from, that way from the beginning. Ultimately, at the end of the project, as we're backing our way out, we're going to re-landscape the whole property, removing all these shrubs, redoing the turf areas, working on the grading and the drainage, all are part of it, and that comes at the very end of the project and really completes it. So I have a lot of experience in both the outside work as well as the inside. I've owned a landscaping company in the past, so we, we've done a lot of pools, hot tubs, hardscapes, softscaping, irrigation, lighting. So that's, that's second nature to me and always as we complement our project at the end we install these features. Yeah, so this is a pretty big project. Uh, you know, it's a complete gut job in addition. We got work on the outside, exterior materials, interior materials. Uh, so all of our modeling and design fees. So all, all told this is about a $350,000 project. We have approximately an 8 to 10 month project on our hands here. Today's day one, we are in the middle of October right now. Uh, we're going to check back in on these guys in about four or five weeks and we're going to see some major progress.